Because we weren't even alive, right, when Joy Luck Club came out. So that was really the last contemporary. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Say that again. Were you alive when Joy Luck Club came out? No, because that was 25 years ago. We're not 25. Oh, <laughs> We're going to go watch the movie Crazy Rich Asians, which would totally be our autobiography, except for the, you know, the rich part. If you just kind of cross out the rich part. <laughs> Crazy is this, and then Asian is... This. This. We're excited to go see this movie. It's been a long, long time coming since there was a big Hollywood production around Asian Americans starring an all Asian ensemble cast. Have you ever seen Joy Luck Club? I think I have like a really, really long time ago as a kid. Like I think I was like, because it's, it's not like kid appropriate, right? It is. Definitely not kid okay, appropriate. Yeah. Even with that, you know, it talks about, you know, the mothers and how they came from China and it's their struggle with their daughters who are, you know, now Chinese American. But this movie is just, it's just about people going about their lives, but they happen to be Asian. Yeah. Like it's, it's not, not the Karate Kid, yeah. it's not some kind of like... It's not memoirs of a geisha, it's, yeah. it's not a period drama, it's just a movie, it's a story about, you know, meeting a family. The contemporary setting actually makes a big difference, you think? Yeah, yes. I think it's just that it's not a caricature. The last time I think I saw a movie of this sort of caliber, if you will, was Joy Luck Club. That was back in college! Uh, how long was that? That was like 80 years ago! That was when we started doing homework in pencil and typewriters. That's actually not too far from the truth, because computers were still not that prevalent just yet. <laughs> What's it was important here is that <laughs> Finally, like 20 some years, another Asian American movie is coming out and uh, we're excited. So excited that we booked tickets for opening night here in the Bay Area. Honestly, when I, when I first heard of this book that came out, I, you know, I didn't really kind of like do anything for me. Why? Because it's, it's in many ways, it's kind of like a romance novel, right? That's just not my thing. But when I was in the Philippines on travel, I just happened to notice that there was a long line of people swarming and it was for the author of this book. He was there doing a book signing. So, really? yeah, I didn't tell you the story. Oh. So I went and just bought the book. I got in line and he came and I talked with them you and didn't... there's no signature Yeah, because I was, well, I was there kind of working. I was there with Nas of Nas Daily. And he was filming and he was starting to walk off his doing his thing. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta go. And I didn't think much of it. At that point, I didn't even realize they were planning to make a movie about this. I just thought the author for the book was there. I just wanted to at least say hi and uh, missed my opportunity. Didn't get the uh, graph. So instead, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do something that's symbolic. And uh, we're gonna go watch this movie and I'm gonna get everyone that's in line on opening night to sign this book for me, just so I can remember this experience. So, may not be the author, but it'll at least be with a bunch of people who I know appreciate good cinema and who appreciate seeing more Asian Americans in the media. There's literally nobody here watching this movie on opening night. What's going on? Please, come on, Asians. You gotta do the Asian thing. So I might have goofed in my approach to making this video. I basically made reservations for seats that had already been assigned, which means that there's no reason for people to get in line. There's literally nobody here getting in line. It's also... Wednesday night, which is a very unusual night for a, like an opening. Usually, you know, they'll have like on a Friday night, right? Maybe like Thursday midnight showing of a big blockbuster. So it's pretty unusual. And uh, I, I think um, that might be contributing to this, like, is it going to be big or not type of thing on opening night. Supporting Asian movie. <laughs> So these guys
Gaza here with us, also watching an opening day, which means that you actually really wanted to watch this movie. Yeah. I mean, I, I read all three books. You just read the first one, right? So better than Twilight as a trilogy, better than <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. I mean, I think it just means more to me than any of those other books could. I mean, Twilight, vampires, right? That's fantasy. Fifty Shades of Grey. Not super relevant to most So the people, Asian culture but... actually had a impact on you. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's funny. You read, like, little bits about it, right? Like how Nick's mom will only drink hot water with lemon. Like, those little things, I think, is what's so funny to me. Um, I am half South Asian. So not, not East Asian, but I think the representation is still really important. Just for anyone from kind of like a non-white background to see themselves represented in print. It's like yeah. a big deal. I mean, awesome. No, I didn't read the book. So I kind of already have a, a, the picture of what the story is all about because, you know, I'm Asian and I'm a Filipino. We love to watch a lot of drama. It's a very common story, I think. But I, I can't wait to see how they do the whole movie. Yeah. Right, so who was the one who like convinced everyone to come watch it? Oh, oh you! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might take us like two weeks. Really? So did you read the book? I did read the book. Okay. Did you all read the book? I read the book. Really? You did read the book? Okay. Are you ready too then? So, thoughts? Was it better than the book? I liked it more than the book. Yeah. Oh, you liked it more than a book? I mean, I thought the book was cool, the concept, but I enjoyed the movie more, personally. Yeah, I was just telling him that I liked the movie more. So two thumbs up for you then? Oh yeah, definitely. What was it about the, the, the movie that was so much better? Um, well, I was saying even like the ending scene with the Mahjong game, I just thought the way it was portrayed was very dramatic. And I think the, um, the Aquafina character, like in the book, she, I don't think she was as funny. Who I don't was remember. Aquafina? Her best friend? Her best friend? Best friend. Yeah. yeah. I thought she was really well cast. She was hilarious. She's like trying to play a game of chicken with me, thinking I'm gonna swerve like a chicken. But you can't swerve. You gonna roll up and be like, bok bok bitch. Okay, maybe like not as aggressive. So what convinced you to like invite all your friends two weeks in advance? Dude, there are very few guys in that theater that I saw. That's right. Uh, well, I'm Singaporean. So oh, you're Singaporean? I'm Singaporean. So uh, the fact that it was, you know, set shot. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty much the main reason. It's kind of like a, a free, like, you know, Tourist, you know, video for Singapore, you know, because <laughs> like, point, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it made it look so good. So. Uh, I think it brought cultural appeal. Definitely watch it, watch it again. again. You yeah. Watch it again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really that. enjoyed it. The funny thing is, is that I started reading it and I never finished it. <laughs> what up to where? <laughs> Maybe like like there. Uh, it, it, it's a good reason. There's a good reason for this. Usually when you want to read a book and you know a movie's coming out, the book will absolutely be better. 100% of the time. Yep. However, when I heard that they were making a movie of this book, I, that's when I stopped reading it. What I wanted to do was see it on screen for the first time with a full Asian ensemble cast. And, and the reason why is because the pros of reading a book are the same reason for me that I thought would be a con. Because when you read a book, your imagination takes over. That's right. Right? Your imagination takes over and you start to picture everything that's vividly but... described in the book. And it's always better than what you see on screen. But in this particular scenario, I didn't want to have that visual only in my head. I wanted it to be on screen. And what I really wanted to enjoy was the audience experience of visually seeing and hearing that story with a bunch of people. So that's why I didn't bother reading, although I have to admit, by chapter one, I was like, <laughs> this is not a comic book, there's no pictures, but I am absolutely appreciative that Kevin Kwan made this book and the whole series, so 